You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We never got around to actually washing the truck down or doing anything with that. Day got away from us. It's actually Easter Sunday, so I hope everybody's had a good Easter. By the time you guys see this, I'm actually further ahead on videos, which is really nice. Um, to keep the daily videos coming to you guys, but yeah. So, Mark Shaw there hooked me up with that pressure washer. And I gotta get it all rigged up. I actually gotta get it out of there. And we gotta mess around with it, but... Prior to that, I thought, well, that one's kind of big, kind of industrial. If I just wanna do a quick wash down. I mentioned it previously, and actually, Giraffe Tools reached out to me and they said, hey, we got a new pressure washer uh, design coming out. They got multiples, so I'm gonna put a link down below. But we're gonna give this a try and see. I did mess up one thing. I took everything out of the truck, out of my pickup that I thought I needed. Everything I got from Home Depot the other day, which is the hooks for in there, and a hose to hook that pressure washer up. Didn't get that, so. But let's open it up and see. Okay. So yeah, this is the pro version. They just came out with it. I'm pumped. I didn't realize that they had a foam cannon. I think I still got some product left. So that is sweet as an end. If you don't know, in the past I used uh, chemical guys uh, wash stuff and I really enjoyed it and I haven't used it lately because well, we, we're missing it. So let me get everything out and we'll, we'll check this out. Look at that. They got a hose. We might have, we won't be able to mount it up yet because we need the distance, but I didn't even need to get a hose. Got everything hooked up. This plate is meant to mount and we'll actually mount somewhere in here, just make it convenient. We probably should run, I guess we can leave the water spigot outside and just run a hose in, but. This will be convenient. Just wash the truck off quick after an end of day. We're gonna give it a try. So it's 100 foot, plugged in, got water, had to go in the basement, turn that on, um, and see how it works. Oh, that's a little bit better. We'll get it cleaned up. So, got it rolled all the way out. It's on right now, being electric. So I like that. Well, let me give it a wash down quick. Getting some of it cleaned up. I gotta get some royal purple, throw it on where we had that oil leak. I did order that cap and I overnighted it on Friday and it's showing up on Monday. So I know it's the world we live in now, but uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit cleaner. I love that. I actually got concrete in the workspace now. At some point we'll do more of it. But for now, that'll be nice. I got my purple power degreaser and uh i guess it's not it zaps Zap. so we'll spray down the greasy oily areas and get them cleaned up i will be so happy when that box trailer is emptied into there because i just climbed around i do got two different ones so gloss liquid wax and this is a hybrid uh radiant finished car wash soap so we'll give this a try See how it goes through uh, their spray cannon, their, or foam cannon, I guess it is. So, I don't know where all my other stuff went. I have a feeling 
Well, we all know where stuff went, so. But we're past that. On to better things. Let's uh, fill this up and foam the truck down for the first time I've ever done it. This does a absolutely awesome job, actually. Might be a little heavy right now, but holy smokes. I'm actually amazed. Washed it down some. That's much better with the foam on it. We really got to actually wax it at some point, get it popped back out. But while I was here, you got to look out, bud. Keith, who made the table that is in the trailer to unload, he made workbenches or shelving months ago and said, I'm bringing these to you. So finally, we got the whole area cleaned right out. We still got to do the lights. And previously, everybody freaked out. Well, just wire it yourself. Your farmers can wire it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, somebody was like, oh, just put better lights in. You're always trying to spend more money. Those lights are partner with the channel. So the lights didn't cost me anything. And they working in a dimly lit area trying to YouTube is really challenging. So I'm excited. Um, just haven't got around to having the guys come in and wire everything for me. Plus we need more outlets and everything else like that. But uh, I don't like working with electricity to begin with. So the people telling me that I'd rather not have my shop and everything that's in it burned down. So we'll get him back right up and get in there. Well, we got a halfway clean truck. Yanko found a football. We got a celebrity. <laughs> When were you last here? You were, no. Uh, I brought with the, the work. Colburn and I brought the work. Workbench and we changed the, the uh, chopper knives. So, and now we got some shelves. You and your, t you and your uh, football that will do a little bit of organization. I think it was all revved up. We really haven't been in here since everything left that was piled here. So we do have some stuff that we got to get rid of just wasteful things. That was a hell of a kick. But yeah, junk, stuff like that. We'll clean it up and we'll get that other trailer actually emptied and into here as far as welder, stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I'm not an electrician and I'm not going to be one. So there is a vice there because I actually don't have a vice at all. And that's like an old one. The new ones are junk. You well, can say that again. There's some interesting stuff in here. Treasures. I don't know. This one's missing its legs, so I don't think this one's much of a treasure any longer. Truck's pretty well clean. We might mess around a little bit more. I did let it soak and start cleaning the trailer. I honestly wasn't going to clean the trailer at all. Just because of the time that I got, but Keith was here. I appreciate him stopping in. Always a great time. Um, so we got more shelving. He did get me a cutting board that was made with the table or the excess of the table. And his wife actually homemade bread and jam and applesauce. And so and he brought me a bunny because it is uh, Easter. So not a real bunny, a chocolate bunny. But let me finish up. I got a little bit left. And I'll have to get some more foam spray because this has worked really well with the pressure washer. Keeping things clean is such a pain. In my dream shop, wash bay, pull things in, make it nice and easy. You can wash stuff at night in the rain. This actually worked out very well. So got the three tips on there, or four tips, one on three holding. Um, like I said, 10% off. Link is down below. But giraffe tools, they hit me up a while ago and it's been sitting in the box and I just... I wasn't gonna take it out if I didn't have a place to actually live. But we gotta get it mounted inside. That will be our best bet. And then that will make it really nice where I can pull up, like my pickup, pull up and quickly rinse it off instead of driving around all salty and everything. But truck's all washed up. We do gotta wax the cab and hood and everything at some point, but it's a lot better. Clean most of the tank. There was some debris um that's on it that's still on it and that's just going to be the nature of it it is slowly pulling the paint off the tank which is i kind of like that because it is stainless underneath so 
if all the paint did come off, oh, we'd have a just a stainless tank instead of a camouflage tank. And then people could see it, right? But, alrighty, I'm gonna pick up my mess here, pull the truck in, and run through and service what we need to do on that. Oh, good thing on this. Because I hate, I'm going to need two hands. I hate rolling up cord after. I don't know if you guys can see anything. Pull the pin out. I should be at the other end. Or... That's actually pretty sweet. Slides right in, locks in. You got uh, your foam cannon. I like it. Got it all mounted up, actually. It makes it so nice. Easy pull out. There we go, the stop. Easy to retract, everything is here. Worked mint. So, hit the link down below. I'm really excited, because we gotta wash this next, so. Well, just as I figured. Yep, no start. So, previously, I checked and uh, the battery over here, well, this set of batteries was low voltage. I'm thinking we got a bad battery um, or it's not charging so we got to check that out but we'll get the 7520 started get it started up over here and check it out so how this works starting system is 24 volt people have said oh you got to get rid of that that's a headache yes and no I guess 24 volt starting um, for cranking wise truck starts up real good when batteries are working but it is charging everything based off the gauge but that's only using the two left batteries the two right are just for starting um because it runs to that parallel switch so we'll come on in here actually we should open the door first yeah we gotta get the lights on and i gotta get rid of stuff like that is not mine by the way just so you guys know that um that's not mine ladder okay the yeah. Previously, we had to do this. I cut the bolt down because we broke one off. I just had bolts too long. And people put comments in, oh, send them the other way, do this, do that. Well, it's really hard to attach the bolt when you're trying to hook up the frame and you need to use the hydraulics to put the bolt going this way. Yeah, you could take it out after, but usually it's such a tight variance that, uh, or clearance variance, clearance, that you destroy the threads. And Travis Kubiak, did I say your last name right? I think, I think, that we went out and he had all the 89, 60s and 70s and the Steigers and everything in Michigan, texted me and said, hey, you can flip the cylinders over. And I said, could do that, but we'd have to make these lines longer because they'd be on top. So cutting off the bolt is cheaper than making my brand new lines, which they're not, they're recently new, but as you can see, they are in very good shape. So I'd rather save my money and just get the bolt and cut it off and call it good. So we're good there. forget about you guys there don't worry just throw it on should start right up so we got to figure out if a battery is dead that's draining it down which these batteries are only a year old what the amount of uh quality control in the world now doesn't put it past it that a battery only made it a year so the other side had 13 volts well 12 12 9 or something the other day this side had 10 so when i clicked it on this side drained right down so not good but yeah 24 volt starting system um 12 volt negative frame it used to be a 12 volt positive frame but we switched that and a lot of people said oh you can't do that blah 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 it's been good otherwise just these last few days and granted when we jumped it I had it shut off for a while on the side of the road, so something overnight, it just drains down enough that it's dead. 
And honestly, do you like trucking? Because you're sitting out here in the sun. You got a football that you uh, found and absolutely destroyed in about seven minutes. But you jumped in the truck. You, you enjoy it? You enjoy going to the farms, meeting everybody, hanging out with the dogs, hanging out with the calves. You're a good dog. Starts right up. So it's something on that side. We gotta, we'll gotta. we have to disconnect the batteries. Really should load test them. We've got no way of good of doing that. We're gonna keep the jumper cables in the truck. So you guys can't hear anything if I'm talking over there. One is leaking. Fuel. One of the lines on the injection pump's leaking fuel right there, I see. And then the drip of oil is coming from the casing where the gear is in between the injection pump and would that be the that be the front cover? So there's a case that gap in between it's leaking out of the back side. Okay. Alrighty, we got a tree for you guys. We we're working on this. And Daniel pulled up. Who you've been going by the house yeah. once a day, twice a day? Uh sometimes twice, especially once. Okay. With this. And it's been far enough away that on GoPro it doesn't make any sense, but off Snapchat, Instagram, everybody, you see the R model roll by. So this is 71, right? 71, yep. Twin stick. Yep. Old fire truck. <laughs> and you're hauling sap. Yep. What are, you, what are you barking about? He knows we're doing something, but... And we went and saw Livingston's Sugar, Sugar House the other... Hell, that was like two, two weeks ago, but old milk tanker and you guys are up from at, outside of Fonda or in Fonda, uh, right in Fonda yeah. so, Adirondack Maple Farms Adirondack Maple Farms there's a lot of maple around here yeah, oh yeah. a lot of maple so got the green cab I'm amazed that headliner's still in that <laughs> that good of a shape Mine, spotlight, still works. spotlight works would you say how many miles were on it? Uh, 186. 186. Yeah, pretty good. Old fire trucks are pretty well taken care of. Oh, you got to get a different seat. <laughs> yeah. I I give it credit. I put a old New York State truck in the passenger seat, but my driver's seat is so comfortable. Yeah. And I don't know why, but yeah, same thing. So same setup there. Oh, your air brakes are down to your right there. Oh, that's neat. Oh, this this is living. Very very clean. Pretty much the same setup, different heater core, stuff like that, different paint scheme. And then I think it's '74. They made the cabs three inches longer or something. We need a '74 cab for this. Yeah. It's way too close to the wheel. Look at that. Oh yeah. Shakes a little going down the road. Oh yeah, they all do. Skate the for you. Yep. Like this is neat. Never met him before. Became Snapchat friends because of somebody else realized that it, he was going by and they were moving sap. So this is what two a two thirty seven or something. Because that, I think that was the first year of the 300s. It was wild. They're, from year to year to year, they're pretty much the same thing. Minor little details, but. You can tell on this side, you know, some manifold gasket somewhere in there. Yup. Oh yeah. It's sweet. I want a six-wheeler so bad as a service truck. It's a, it's a fun truck. It shakes a little when you go down, but it's a nice back. Being 71, what's that? How many years does that make it? 50, 
52? And they're still kicking. The new stuff's not going to be kicking when it's that old. I need a six-wheeler. I can't afford one right now. We got a lot of other things we got to do in between. But six-wheeler, our model, is definitely in the future. That is pretty cool. Side-by-side, -side, 71, 74, six-wheeler. I got good neighbors out here. Fonda's not that far away at all. So... Keep going, you're good. We gotta fix it. Sunday Lawn Care is gonna hook us up. I love it. Who's having more fun on Sunday, fun day? Yanko or me? I'm having a good day, but he has had non ah. yep. non-stop balls. You killed that football pretty quickly. Kill soccer balls even quicker, but tennis balls, he's right into it. Thinking I fixed the fuel leak at least, which is a win there. The oil though is dropping between right here, this gasket. So down below must have some issue. Um, but I'm not going to touch it because I just climbed through the trailer and I couldn't find any RTV or gasket maker. So if I'm going to see, this is why I want the lights because it gets dark. In random spots so that's on my list this week so we're just gonna keep running it hopefully that cap shows up tomorrow and we'll be in a good place because that's what our cap is right now um, and it's gonna drip some oil but it's rust protection right as far as the ticking it's the fuel system because I can feel in this line which is a return it ticking along so I'm thinking maybe the governor Yes, we have an issue, and a lot of people pointed that out. I'm wondering if this pump just needs to be run through um, and fixed up. So this week, my plan is actually run this truck for three days, and then we're going to do our own thing. We got internet coming, and we got a lot of equipment still to move, things to get figured out. So that is my plan. So I did end up tightening taking this off, cleaning it up, retightening it. It ran for a while. Didn't look like it was dripping anything. Um, but we can pull the pump off. We can get that gasket fixed up. And then uh, from there, hope, and we'll send the pump. Got to figure out a fuel pump place around here. So I'll look that up. And then hopefully that's our issue. Um, I don't believe it is anything in the motor as far as valves, and I don't believe it's a injector. I think it's the pump itself based off of everything else that goes on. But yeah, pulled it in here, working on concrete, it's pretty nice, making a mess. Yanko's having the time of his life. It is nice being in here. I'm gonna run through, grease this thing, and then I'm gonna call it good. It's almost seven o'clock on a Sunday. I hope everybody had a good Easter Sunday. I'm pretty pumped. I got to see that R model, that six wheeler. I got to wash the truck. I got my shelves in. We're slowly gaining, and I really appreciate everybody who's been along for the ride. So hopefully this thing will start in the morning. We won't have an issue. I'll probably come out this evening, start it up, um, and just let it run for a little bit so that other side's charged, but then we'll mess around. I'm just exhausted, to be honest. It's been a long week. I clocked, even without the breakdowns, without the travel time, I was 58 hours this week of trucking manure so a lot real lot so appreciate you guys watching along though i'm tired you guys are great and uh see you guys on the next one have a good one you're gonna have a good one you're excited to go trucking all right